Neural Things Discovery, and our partner lab, Pharmacology Discovery Services, PDS, can provide comprehensive in vitro NASH panels and in vivo NASH models for NASH drug discovery. I'm Phil Lin, scientist from Eurofins Discovery Taipei site. I'm going to introduce our in vitro NASH panels. Later on, our technical director Jimmy Bao from PDS will introduce in vivo NASH models. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, aka NASH, is the most common and progressive fatty liver disease around the world. Pathogenesis of NASH is caused by abnormal accumulation of free fatty acids, leading to steatosis. NASH is a more serious condition of liver steatosis, accompanied with inflammatory responses, leading to hepatitis. When extracellular matrix remodeling is extensively stimulated by inflammatory responses, the more serious liver fibrosis occurs. Currently, there is still lack of effective therapeutic agents for the treatment of NASH. Therefore, there are myriads of potential therapeutic strategies, including enhancement of free fatty acid beta-oxidation and glycemic modulation, or suppression of lipogenesis, lipid and bioacid absorption, or inhibition, inflammation, apoptosis, oxidative stress, and ECM remodeling. Several therapeutic targets are highly involved in these pathological pathways, such as PPARS, ACC1, AMPK, and THR-beta. We have developed three in vitro NASH panels based on the NASH disease progression, from mild steatosis to severe liver fibrosis. Total 25 core therapeutic targets highly contributed to liver steatosis, hepatitis, and liver fibrosis were selected. Every selected target has at least one drug candidate in clinical trials for NASH indication. Eurofins Discovery provides well-validated in vitro target-based and phenotypy-based assays across NASH progressions. Our partner lab, PDS, also provides two validated in vivo NASH models, including methionine choline deficient induced and choline deficient amino acid defined high fat diet induced models. Your compounds assessed from in vitro studies can be directly follow up to in vivo efficacy evaluation. This slide shows representative data for the three in vitro NASH panels. Left hand side is ACC1 inhibition assay, which is included in the liver steatosis panel. ACC1 is an enzyme catalyzing the first step of lipogenesis. Inhibiting lipogenesis is one of the therapeutic strategies for treating NASH. We have applied Fersocostat for assay validation, which is an ACC1 inhibitor under phase 2 for NASH indication. The middle is the VEP1 inhibition assay, which is included in the hepatitis panel. VEP1 is highly involved in the inflammation and fibrosis progression in hepatocytes. Hence, VEP1 inhibition is one of the therapeutic strategies against NASH. We have also applied PLXS4728 for ACA validation, which is also under phase 2 trial for NASH indication. The right hand side is the phenotypy based liver fibrosis model, which the hepatic sterling cell line LX2 is applied. Hepatic sterling cells are highly active in inflammation and fibrosis stages, hence blocking hepatic sterling cells activation is also one of the strategies for treating NASH. The activation of LX2 was successfully induced by TGF-beta where the fibrosis marker collagen type 1 alpha 1 were highly expressed. As demonstrated by high content images analysis, Two TGF-beta inhibitors were successfully suppressed. TGF-beta induced hepatic study cells activation. Next, our technical director Jimmy Bao will introduce the two in vivo NASH models.
Pharmacology Discovery Services, PDS in short, as a partner lab of European Discovery, offers two validated in vivo animal models for NASH, the methionine and choline deficient diet, that is MCD-induced NASH model, and choline deficient amino acid-defined high-fat diet, that is CDA high-fat diet-induced NASH model. Both models rely on lipotrophic deficiency, methionine and choline deficiency for MCD and choline deficiency in the case of CDA high-fat diet. This deficiency impedes the normal liver triglyceride metabolism and leads to impaired secretion of very low density lipoprotein, VLDL. This results in steatosis, oxidative stress, and liver cell death. Both MCD and CDA high fat diet models successively induce hepatic steatosis, inflammation, and liver fibrosis after 4 to 8 weeks for MCD and 6 to 12 weeks for CDA high fat diet model. The MCD NASH model is a well established model for studying inflammatory and fibrotic process involved in NASH and has been widely used in NASH drug research and development where CDA high fat diet NASH model is an improved model in which animals are able to maintain their body weights throughout the study. In both models, we use pyoglitazone to validate the models and use it as a positive control in all of our studies. Pyoglitazone is a people gamma agonist and approved for type 2 diabetes. Pyoglitazone is also in various clinical trials for NASH with good success and is currently recommended by the American Association for the Study of Liver Diseases to treat biopsy-proven NASH patients with or without type 2 diabetes. Shown here in this slide are the effects of pyoglitazone on the liver histopathological changes in mice that are fed either MCD or CDA high fat diet. Pyoglitazone was treated for eight weeks for MCD and 12 weeks for CDA high fat diet. As is clear, pyoglitazone significantly reduces NAFET activity score, that is NAS score, as well as the fibrosis score in both MCD and CDA high fat diet induced NASH models. Pyoglitazone also has effects on liver enzymes or liver hydroxyproline levels, which are not shown in this slide. Thus, we have two NASH animal models available to help clients evaluate the NASH drug candidates. In summary, we have established three in vitro panels which are composed of 25 core therapeutic targets across NASH progression from steatosis, hepatitis to fibrosis. We also provide phenotypy-based and in vivo NASH models for efficacy evaluation. Combining in vitro and in vivo assays, we can help you understand the MOA on target profile, evaluate multi target effect and drug efficacy. Neurofins Discovery and Pharmacology Discovery Services can provide in depth solutions for your NASH drug discovery programs. For more information, please don't hesitate to contact us by email or visit our in vitro and in vivo NASH portfolios by our websites. We look forward to working with you.